All right, guys, so how's everyone doing today? Now, before we begin, I just want to remind y'all that with Greg being our newest member to Spooky City Inks, he's not exactly familiar with how these meetings go. So I'll just give y'all a basic rundown. Every year, we like to try and pitch new Halloween ideas. You know, something fresh, something original. Got it? Yeah, got it. All right, great. So, let's get started. You know, I've been seeing this a lot lately. Clowns are in. With the new It sequel out, we should really capitalize on that. <laughs> no, no, no. Greg, that's not what sells in the Halloween market. Terry, Jim, can I remind Greg what the number one rule is? Every Halloween, people want sexy versions of things that already exist. Okay, well, I, I thought we could do a mix of both. Now, if you'll turn your attention to the screen, you'll see some of our top Halloween ideas from last year. That includes sexy Winnie the Pooh, sexy can of beans, and of course, sexy trash can. So, the question is, what can we make sexy this year? You know what I bet a lot of people would want to buy? Sexy cat. No, no, way too overdone. Every woman has a sexy cat on Halloween. What else can we do? Ooh, sexy nurse. Guys, come on, these are our top selling costumes in 1995. Give me something new. I got it. Sexy librarian. Sexy fireman. No, no, no. We need something original. Sexy janitor? Have we done sexy postal worker? Sexy leg. You know, like, just a leg, but like, really sexy. Ooh. Sexy pizza with two pepperonis? And nice little sausage. Sexy left leg, all right? It's like the same thing from earlier, except it's like a left leg that's like really sexy. Sexy bus stop? You know, like a well done, well clean, put together bus stop, because those are usually dirty, you know? Um, we got sexy razors, you know, for women love razors. Sexy load of laundry. Sexy Tony the Tiger. Sexy stormtrooper. Sexy water bottles. Sexy piece of paper. Sexy shoes. Sexy Barbie doll. Sexy shoes, but like just the left shoe. Sexy, sexy sex. You know, Cobus costume. Oh, oh my goodness, serious? Why would you suggest that? Oh Jim, my god. Oh. Jim, come on. Spooky City is a family establishment. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, um, sexy, uh, sexy Donald Trump? Oh yeah, Greg. Great idea. Oh wait, there's just one problem. Donald Trump is already sexy. Why? Is that picture in your PowerPoint? Have we really run out of things to make sexy? Have we done it all? Man, this is bad. Oh. I'm gonna lose my job. I've got a wife and kids, man. What am I supposed to do? Tell them that daddy lost his job because everything's already sexy? Calm down. All right, I know. Sexy Halloween ideas sell. We might be out of those. But you know what? That's not what Halloween's about. Halloween is about having kids stay up all night jacked up on sugar and candy. What happened to us? Halloween's supposed to be a holiday we can all love and enjoy. Now we're focused on all these sexy Halloween ideas and that's not what Halloween's about. I think if we really try, we can make Halloween a wholesome, unsexy holiday again. Who's with me? You know what, Greg? You're right. When I first started this company, I did it so my kids could have something to dress up for every year on Halloween. Not to make things look sexy. You know what? I think it's time we got back to our roots. Thank you for that. I got it. Sexy Minion. That's brilliant. 